I've had some questions about my uh, parachute uh, recovery system, so I'm going to make this video. <clears throat> this is my, I use a, a piston made from a uh, one inch PVC. And uh, the, the head of the piston, this is for a three inch airframe. I use uh, PVC as my airframe. So uh, this should fit loosely inside the body tube not not too loose but just with with clearance so it doesn't bind and use a flat capped uh, PVC cap and you, you attach it to the the piston head then glue it to a short piece of one inch PVC my, I use this for a my drogue parachute <coughs> which uh, is a, a five foot parachute so it folds up into a, a bundle about two and a half inches in diameter by about maybe one foot so uh, this this whole thing comes out with with the parachute and just kind of hangs on the string while it's coming down so that's that's the piston head and here's the um, Here's the piston itself, really. Uh, what you want to do is is find <clears throat> some couplings that that mate together easily. See, this screws together quite nice. I've I've seen some that only screw together a couple of turns, so you might have to shop around to get the right ones. But uh, just glue a, a male adapter to your one half inch PVC pipe and then <clears throat> glue well first you cut some rings from a half inch coupling and you might have to uh, to spread them a little by maybe slightly crimping them with a pair of wire cutters just just so they slip on easily not not very easily but they, so they don't bind and what you need to do is is turn these rings down to where they fit in the tube loosely not too loosely but make sure it doesn't bind and that's that's what retains your o-ring <clears throat> and uh, the o-ring doesn't quite make a tight fit um, because the the one inch the half inch PVC pipe is a little too small, so what you need to do is uh, build it up with some uh, aluminum tape. So I've cut a, a a small section here, and you just uh, uh, tape tape around there maybe one or two turns uh, until it, it fits in there with. A little bit of force not a lot of force but make sure it's it's got a good seal so in my case uh, I cut uh, a nine inch piece of uh, aluminum tape uh, make make sure you you don't make it too wide or too narrow just try and get it just about the right size so I put nine inches around here and I kind of uh, <clears throat> I kind of worked it in as as I went, so there's so it's got a good uh, adhesion, and uh, you you put the O-ring on, and it should fit snugly. So it, it makes a good seal. Uh, you, you can't have any leaks even even up here on the piston I've uh, I've put some duct putty around the hole because you get a certain amount of leakage uh, around the screw so it's got a good seal up there also this is a uh, duct putty right here 
it's used to seal air conditioning ducts and it's uh, it sticks to itself I guess you could use bubble gum or something if you wanted to but that's what I use so uh, now that you have your your complete piston here you need to make the anchoring uh, attachment uh, this is a piece of uh, inch and a half uh, angle iron and uh, I've tapped a quarter inch threaded hole for a machine screw and you want to make that a real tight real tight fit and I also put duck putty in there too just just to make a good seal so this is a uh, you have to cut an oblong hole here to attach your uh, anchor point and you drill a small hole uh, as small as you can because this is a uh, fireworks igniter uh, it's uh, they don't cost a whole lot and uh, it's a uh, hundred percent uh, reliable I've used Christmas tree lights in the past and I've had quite a few failures so I've gone to this type and I think I'll have a lot better luck. Uh, so you, uh, you, you get, uh, I use uh, <clears throat> half inch diameter jumbo drinking straws and I cut a piece about maybe two inches long and you uh, insert the, it's called a uh, E-match. You insert it up there about an inch or so then you put hot glue in there and make sure that your uh, your head is, is not doesn't get glue on it you, you, you can't have that happen but so uh, sometimes I I might put a little bit of uh, insulation to keep that from happening but you just want to fill this in with hot glue and once that cures you pour one and a half grams of black powder and then you put a small uh, small amount of uh, uh, fiberglass in there kind of pack it down a little bit and then hot glue the, the top seal and trim any excess drinking straw so you'll end up with with something like this I have one and a half grams of black powder so that's my ejection charge and I found that one in, one gram <clears throat> doesn't quite have enough oomph to get it out of there so so I've gone to one and a half and it's 100% reliable of course if you got your nose cone on a little too tight or something it, it might uh, might be a problem so I had to drill this hole it's it's kind of quite large but uh, uh, so I just leave uh, two or three inches sticking out and then I, I seal the the end with with duck putty I make sure it's got a good seal around the
That's that's all it takes. Pass your igniter, your your e match wire through through this hole here. In my electronics bay, I've made a uh, I believe that's a a three eighths uh, flat washer, and I've glued it in a small indent that I made there, so it's not going to come out very easily. So you you pass your e match wire through that that hole, and you put the uh, threaded uh, machine screw through the other hole. Attach my piston with a a wing nut. I've I've gone from three inch body tubes to four inch because it's a lot easier to to work with. Three inch is just a little small to try to. To pack a parachute. This this is for the drogue chute. For the for the main chute, I have a, a ten foot parachute, and it's it's really hard to to be able to pack it so it fits in there without binding. So four inches makes everything a lot easier. So your, your piston is attached to your, your airframe now. And what you need to do is uh, make a seal so that uh, your, your electronics bay is not is, is confined to just a certain amount of space. So your sample port will pressurize it the right way. So you take an earplug, a foam earplug and uh, put in that hole there in that washer and that makes your seal so there you have the well for me this is the drogue parachute and uh, I pretty much just uh, put a rubber band around this maybe once twice and just put it alongside here somewhere and then you uh, insert this end of the, the piston through your your upper body tube and your upper body my upper body tube screws to this to attach it to this part and you uh, Attach your parachute to this and attach your nose cone to this and you're you're set to go uh, That o-ring that I used for my piston it's it's a number number 57 And it's one inch by 13 sixteenths by 3.30 seconds and you can probably get that at most hardware stores.